Hey Poosh, I'm Bridget O'Carroll, founder of Studio Kila, your routine for mental and physical strength. We are also the first native-owned online fitness studio, and today I have a quick lower core workout for you. No equipment needed, just have some sort of mat down for comfort, and we're going to start grounded all the way down. Lie down here. Take your tailbone and tuck it. Think about pressing the small of your back down toward your mat. Bring your palms out, arms nice and long towards either side of you. Lift up the right leg, lift up the left leg. I want each leg at this nice 90 degree angle, okay? That's gonna be important. And another 10 seconds, I'm gonna count you down into every move and do it with you. You're gonna send just your right leg down in five. Four more, maintain this 90 degree angle in three, Two, it's one, toe goes down towards your mat as you lower this entire thigh down for four. It's slow, three, two, tap it one, lift it back up, slow for four. Slow three, slow two, slow one, left leg goes down slow, same thing on this other side. Lift it back up for four, slow three, slow two, slow one. Think about sending your belly button down towards your spine, actually squeezing into this lower part of your core so hard that that is where this movement comes from. Nice, moving left and right. So at Studio Kilo, we work our slow twitch muscles. That's why we're moving really slowly and maintaining tension over time instead of breaking between reps. This is gonna cause you to start shaking at some point. Maybe you're already there. That means you're getting these tiny little tears in your muscle fibers, and that forces your muscle fibers to need to repair the next day. That is how we get stronger. That is how we create change in our bodies. And it's so mental to be able to push through that shakiness, push through that toughness in order to grow stronger. Moving left and right. So for each move, I also like to show you a couple of different options. So this is option one, and feel free to stay here. Within 10 seconds, I'm gonna move you in to the second option. So instead of a single leg toe tap, we're going into a dual leg toe tap, both legs at the same time in three, two, it's one. So we're at the top, both legs, thighs, legs, go down slow for four. Slow three, slow two, tap at one, lift it back up, press into your palms up for four. Slow three, slow two, slow one, lower down slow, up slow. Now I want you to start to move with your breath, okay? Moving really intentionally. Exhale on the way up. Inhale on the way back down. If you want a little bit more leverage, you can widen the stance of your palms a little bit more. Think about pressing into your palms, pressing into your forearms, gorgeous. Option to stay here or in 10 seconds, I'm gonna walk you into another variation. We're going to cross our ankles and butterfly out our knees in five. Not yet, four more, slow, three, two, it's one. Cross your ankles, butterfly out your knees, okay? Same movement, lower down slow. Squeeze your core, press into your palms, lift up slow. Gorgeous, I love this one because it helps you release your hip flexors, which often try to get involved and ask your core to do all the work. Still breathing here. Inhale on the way down. Exhale on the way back up, gorgeous. So at Studio Kila, we're all about form over ego. So if this first movement, single leg toe tap feels best to you, go back to that one. Take the one that feels best to you. Take the one where you can maintain the form because that's what's actually gonna be effective, okay? If you're feeling good, just squeezing your core, pressing the small of your back down into your mat. With this third variation, then you take it, okay? Down slow, up slow. Meet me at the top. We're moving into the next move, leg extension, six. Five, four more, three, two, it's one. Bring your knees together. Extend right leg only, bring it back in. Left leg only, bring it back in. Nice, stay with me. Moving right and left. So same deal as before. This is option number one. Option two is in 10, not yet nine. You can stay here or you can come with me in six. Five, dual leg extension. Three, two, 
It's one, you can extend it out long. Ooh, I got all those shakes. Bend back in slow. If you're shaking, you're doing it exactly right. Extend it, bend it. Another thing you can think about is how close to the ground you're going. Closer to the ground, the heavier it's going to be. Closer to the ceiling, the more supported you will feel. Same thing for how far you're bringing your legs in. I like to stop with knees right on top of hips or even a little bit further out to build that tension and keep it nice and heavy. But if you need that moment, you can bring your knees slightly beyond your hips, take that moment and send it back out. Final variation is coming up. Hold it in and five. Knees go wide, four more, three, two, it's one. Cross your ankles, let your knees go wide. Extend, legs go long, bend, knees come wide. Again, we're releasing through our hips to allow our core to be the thing, the muscle that's taking over. We hold it long, we're almost out, five. Hold it, four more, three, two, it's one, hold it out. Lift your head, neck and shoulders, palms are facing up, right leg on top, left leg on top. Nice, sometimes I like to add a little cardio burst into our slow controlled movement, so if that feels good to you, quicken the pace, get your heart rate up before we finish another 10. Not yet, nine, eight seconds, it's six, five more, four, you've got three, two, release it, one. Big stretch up, breathe in, breathe out. <sighs> Amazing job today. Nice job, team. Again, my name is Bridget O'Carroll, and I've got lots of workouts for you on Poosh, and you can also find me on YouTube and on Instagram at Studio Kila.